This is called the minimum on stick test. It's to see what happens if a pilot lifts the nose up too high, too soon, and scrapes the runway. Will the aircraft still be able to get enough lift on the wings to actually get airborne? It's a standard test. All new designs of aircraft are put through it. And this aircraft is being prepared for the flutter test. Mini wings are fitted to each wingtip. Have a guess what they're for. They're to induce bad vibrations, the sort that it's just possible could occur in freak conditions. The testers have to make sure there's no risk of the aircraft shaking itself to bits. Then there's the stall test. The aircraft deliberately flies so slowly that it loses lift. And now the pilot is climbing back to have another go. Not that everything always was right, as this hurriedly shot film shows during a sudden braking test. This is another sudden braking test. The problem is that so much heat is generated by the brakes, there's a real danger of the tires literally blowing up. The solution is for the tires to automatically let themselves down. But some of the most dramatic aircraft tests are done by NASA. They swing real aircraft into the ground. This way they can simulate actual crashes. They are trying to improve the crash worthiness by recording exactly what happens. So far they've had 25 successful crashes.